Hi everybody, I'm Joanne. Welcome to my channel. This is Joanne Ralston Art. And thank you so much for being here. I greatly appreciate it. Um, I love you. I love all of you. It's great to see everybody. Um, I wish I could really see you. It'd be nice. You kind of just talking to a camera, hoping people were there listening to you. But it's still fun. Today I want to do something the same, but a little bit different. Um, everybody really seemed to like the monochromatic um, painting that I did and checking it out. And I wanted to do it in a different way. And I wanted to add another color to it being red. I want to go red, black, and white and see what happens, see how it turns out. And uh, red and black is my high school colors. And um, we were the Nitro Wildcats in West Virginia. So if you've ever driven down 64 through West Virginia, you've gone right by where I grew up. Um, but anyhow, we're going to do it on a on a 16 inch round canvas and I have taped it and sprayed the back. Um, I've checked to make sure this spinner is still level. I'm going to keep it on the spinner and um, see what happens. Y'all have noticed that I do a lot of rounds and I finally did a triangle and I do some hexes and the oblong rectangles. I've got, you can see behind me, a whole bunch of different size canvases. Tall, short, fat, skinny. And um, so I've got a lot of different canvases. I'm hoping after the um, convention of the Fluid Art Bouquet that I get into some of my bigger canvases and start doing some different things in a bigger, bigger spectrum. But anyway, I want, well, let me just bring you down to the canvas, let you see what we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that, get you centered over. How's that? That's pretty good. Maybe a little bit that way. There we go. Okay. Um, I'm going to go start out in the center the best I can. Um, I don't really like things centered, centered. I'd like them a little off center. But I want to do, I'm going to do the, the Amsterdam white, titanium white, Amsterdam dioxide black. And then I have... Master's Touch Permanent Red. And so I'm gonna go black, red, white, black, red, white. And like I said, those are my school colors. And uh, see how it turns out. I'm gonna start out, this is my scrapings. I keep everything, I scrape it off that, so it doesn't go to waste when it comes off the canvas. And it made it real pretty gray. But I'm just gonna put some down to be like a, a flow extender so that the rings will flow nicely. And if they do end out looking like they go lopsided, like I said, this is not unlevel. What it is, is where I'm pouring in the puddles. If I'm not dead center in each puddle and pour exactly the same way, it's going to go a different direction. It's not going to stay dead center. And uh, it's not because I'm unlevel. Is that a bug? No, that's black. No, I didn't get that mixed up good. You can see white in there, but that won't matter. It's going to be covered anyway. It's just a flow extender. 
But see, like this. This is not poured dead center in the canvas. So it's lopsided. But I wanna get that spread out. And what this does is as we're pouring over the puddles, the puddles will, the paint will not roll over top of itself and cover up um, the colors that you're wanting to, to be there and show up and you don't, you don't wanna lose it and get it covered up and get that spread out a little bit. And then we'll have to blow, torch it and blow the bubbles, pop the bubbles, pop the boublés. Like Lisa Marvin says, pop the boublés. We all know who bouble is. I've never drank his drink. I'd like to find out if boublés, boublés are any good. Oh, that has a lot of bubbles. Let's get those, because I don't want them to come up through. I don't want them to come up through my black and red and white paint. Stretching it out some more. I'll make the rest of the bubbles come up to the top, and they did. Okay, there we go. All right, I'm gonna start with black. Let me get all my lids open. Get any dried paint off the tip so it's ready to pour. This needs some help. I need to bring me, I just broke the tip of my stick. I like to use, I need to bring me a little sharp knife down to get the dried paint out of the tip of the bottles. Sometimes it builds up, and that's to be expected. There we go. You think we got it? If all else fails, use scissors. There we go. Yep. Got her. Should be fine. All right, I think we will start with the black and we'll make a puddle to get us started. And since this one has to go a long ways, I'll make it a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to go red. curious to see how this does and after the trip um, I'll know how to edit and I can fast forward this part for you it's kind of gonna look like a bullseye isn't it I'm losing the black from the first pour, but that's okay. Maybe I started too big. Because I feel like I'm having let's kind of try to downsize the puddle a little bit. Oh, I knew I was gonna do that. I was aiming not to. Oh, 
Almost got it. And then I pulled the black in. There we go. Okay, white, black. I'm getting sloppy. Quit that. Oh, I wanted this to turn out so perfect. Got to pay attention to what you're doing. Okay, so you can see there that that red came over there and look how odd shaped that black is. That's why it makes it start looking like it's not level, but it is, it is level. It's just the matter of the way you're pouring the pot. The puddle's in. I keep messing up. It's getting late at night, folks. I'm getting tired, and that's when I start messing up. I don't do well when I get tired, and I don't do well when I'm not in a good mood. Or if I'm in a clumsy mood. Oh, keep me away from paints. If I'm in a clumsy mood. Because I will make a mess. Alright. I'm going to have to start doing that. Maybe that one part where it's really messed up will spin off. We'll see what happens. I just thought this would be fun. I see now watch dripping too. There we go. Shouldn't do it anymore. Yep. Okay. White, black. Red. Really looks kind of pretty. I'm thinking too about bringing the lines outward instead of inward. So I don't have to fight getting all that, I almost put the wrong color, paint out of the center. Well, how was everyone's weekend? I hope you had a great weekend. Those of you with kids, I hope you had a lot of fun with your kids over the weekend. Let's see, this would be the day after, well, I would've got in late last night on the plane from Sterling, Virginia, from the Fab, Fluid Art Boutique Fab. And I'm gonna um, take a lot of pictures while I'm there, and I'm gonna try to put them together 
in a snapshot for you guys so you can see all your artists and people you know people you like to watch paint the black and white are really turning out just very slim line but hopefully when we spin it it'll come out a little wider we'll see what it does lots of bubbles lots of bubbles wonder if we got enough Now see, that is not off-center because this is unlevel. It's off-center because of the way I'm pouring the puddle. Oh, it must be 10 or 10.30. My husband's coming down to say good night. Good night. Love you. Love you too. Okay, we're back to the white. I think I'll just do, do this one more time and we'll spin her out and see what happens. I think we got plenty of paint on there. Let's see. I want to stop with the black. So let's do the white. And I, there's a reason why I want to do it. I have an idea. All right. Let me see what I got already out here. Oh, I see a couple paint spilled. some pineapple crush. I want to put just a little tiny bit of yellow in the center. That's all I need. And I'm going to have to find another stick. That one, here's one. Got its tip broke. All right. Let's pop the bubbles first. And get my hair out. Bubbles are from where I shook the bottles of paint to make sure they were mixed up. And let's move that just a little bit that way. Now I'm going to start in the middle this time instead of going from the outside to the middle. Oh, yes, we got plenty of paint. Let me get a towel to wipe my tip off. Let's see how this does. I'm really... curious. I've been thinking about this ever since I did the monochromatic one. And... Uh, it'd be cool to do it this way. Looks like a little star in the middle. If I can keep the shape.
Should have put a little more yellow in there, but that's okay. Yep, it's disappearing on me. Let's put a tad more. Well, I still have some time to make the stick work it. Let's see if we want to go smaller. Yes. And I'm losing the yellow again. Oh! I gotta get that out. Where's my tweezers? is that and where did it come from? You never know. You never, never, never know. We're just about there. And then we can spin it out and see what it does. See how it looks. Let's go look at the spider web. I'm losing the yellow again. It's amazing how much I put in there and what I lost. All right, let's leave it alone. I don't want to mess it up. All right, you guys ready for a spin? Let me move the bottles out of the way. And let's see how this spins out. Spin it slow. Okay. I'm going to put it more this way. So hopefully it'll go off this way more. Oh, I like it. Okay, let's put a little bit of this on this bottom edge. So it'll move a little bit better. And dribble down the sides. And then we'll be done. I really like this. This is pretty. I didn't think, I didn't, this is not exactly how I thought it would look, but I like how it looks. You always want to 
help your paint flow. It makes your composition of your painting a lot nicer. And a lot, it doesn't have to work as hard to do what you want it to do to get it to the composition you want. Now let's slide it down a little bit more. Get it to go over that edge. It's going slowly. I don't want to whip it because first it'll go all over me and it'll go all over the floor and everywhere else. Oh, it's just about there. Well, I really like this, you guys. I don't know what you think, but I think it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, let me check all my edges. See if it needs to drip over any further. Make sure everything's covered. It's all covered. Let's give it one more spin so make sure I don't ah, have too much paint. And I whipped it. And I'm covered. <laughs> Tell me what painter stays clean. You can find a painter that stays clean and never gets a drop of paint anywhere. I, I want to meet them. <laughs> There we go. Oh, guys, this looks awesome. This really looks cool. Let's get rid of any boublés. I love how she says boublés. And she says bloop. A bloop of this and a bloop of that. She is very good at what she does. Very, very good. Well, what do you think? I want to bring that center up close so you can see it. Oh, you guys are dealing with the glare. I'm so sorry. I should have taken care of that. I didn't look. I'm trying to figure out all the right spots so you don't have to deal with, look at that center. Ah, oh, you can't. Let me turn the camera, see if that helps. There's the center. Look at that design. Isn't that neat? And I'm glad that's not right dead smack in the center. That's really cool. Well, I like that one. I hope you do too. And now I've got you all crooked with the camera. So let me tilt you up. So I can say goodbye. Oh, there we go. Well, I hope you like that one. Um, watch my thumbnails because I show the dry results in the thumbnails until I learn to edit so I can show you the dry results afterwards. So, I should be much better soon, I hope. Fingers crossed. So, until then, everybody take care. I love everybody out there. You guys have a good day. And be sure and come back and see me. Um, subscribed if you're not already subscribed. Like and comment if you are subscribed. And hit that share button. Let other people know about me. It helps my channel. Do that for other channels too. 
at least, at least hit the thumbs up button when you watch other channels or any channel, anybody on YouTube. Please at least hit the thumbs up button. It really helps their channel to grow. YouTube looks at that big time. And everybody take care, take care of each other and spread the love and spread the love of art. It's good for all of us. Thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye.